right guys so last video I took you guys to Michael's this video I want to take you guys to my favorite 99 cent store and to Dollar Tree so I can't buy paint at these stores because I always say that paint needs to be quality paint even though I buy them on sale I never pay full price for them you know this if you watch my Michaels video I've told you how to shop for paint so besides the paint when you're a fluid artist there's a lot of materials they need you need your cups you need your mixing sticks you need a lot of napkins you need table covers all these sorts of things and even if you're not fluid painting you need table covers you need plates for your paint all sorts of things so I've kind of become an expert on shopping at the dollar store and making it an art store I buy glue guns glue sticks there's sandpaper there's um, tape tape at Home Depot like masking tape Home Depot and Michaels $8.99 $9.99 I bought one time about a really thick it was like a big bag, like this thick um, Frogger's tape so it's painters tape and they use it to you know masking as usual you mask and you paint so you don't get paint in a certain area that you don't want to and it's supposed to be a spectacular paint the spectacular um, which I'm call it a tape a masking tape oh my god it was $16 and I bought it I was like okay fine you know maybe it's worth it let me try it I bought it all my paint seeped through it was not sticky at all it was so light that like air was going through it it was ridiculous I hated it so I have bought masking tape before at the dollar store and I'll tell you it works fantastic I love it and you know what and even if it doesn't it works just as well as the rest of them so no paying expensive money for these supplies if you go to you know wherever Ralph's you're gonna get like eight cups for what five dollars or something I'm gonna show you there's different packs sometimes I get eight nine cups for a dollar sometimes there's like different packs that they have 16 for a dollar there are plates 25 for a dollar mixing sticks craft sticks little storages I have so much stuff that I buy for them I'm so excited to show you guys um, I really get disappointed not disappointed but I get angry when people well not even angry I feel bad when people spend a lot of money on these supplies and you know I used to do the same thing but over the years you learn so I wanted to share my knowledge of the Dollar Tree and the dollar store 99 cent store with you guys all right guys so I hope you guys find this video helpful if you do please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe what really car those you know that's um, the paint that I just bought from Michaels that's sitting on the driver's seat so it's saying you need to put your seat belt on apparently I bought too much paint <laughs> that's funny so all right everybody so don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up and share on your Facebook page guys so here we go so excited So since the beginning of July, I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, guys. So this is kind of their little hardware section that they have. They have all sorts of things, and I want to show you guys this. So first of all, if you watch my Michaels video, you saw that they had glue guns. Look at these. These are hand sized, but they look the same. These were about four or five dollars, and these were about four or five dollars. Look at this. So you get. 20 of these, 26 sticks for one dollar. Glue gun, one dollar. What a find. I have about 30 of these. I did a party one time and it was a crafts party with some kids. And holy moly, is this a find. I mean, you can't get about two dollars instead of ten dollars or more. And Michael's one sometimes, you know, you can use a coupon or whatever, but two dollars. You cannot go wrong. And you know what? They always run out. I think they just restock their. Um, glues so the guns you can buy one or two and you'll always have them but the glues obviously they run out so whenever you see these glues stocked up like this buy a bunch of them because they're always always out 
All right, guys, so remember I told you guys about the tape at Michael's? They were like eight, nine dollars for this. It was $8.99 for this. It's the same exact thing, $1. So I'm buying two today. I'm stocking up on these. So right over here. Sometimes they have bigger sizes too. All sorts of different other colors and duct tapes, but these are my favorite right over here. Masking tape. $1 instead of $9. So I remember when I was at Michael's and everybody was laughing at me. There's more people here at the dollar store. I'm getting laughed at and looked at so much, it's not even funny. I'm so embarrassed. So embarrassed. But here we go, we're gonna keep going. Alright guys, so one of my other favorite things to do is stay clean when I'm doing my art and this is how I do it. Right over here. We have these table covers, all these table covers right over here. I like the black ones, which are over here. So they're a dollar. So they have the, the round table ones and they have the rectangular ones. I buy the rectangular ones because my desk is rectangular. So if you have a round table, buy the round ones. They're a dollar. They're, the rectangular ones are really, really big. So usually I'll cut them in half and I'll use one two times. So that's a dollar every time or half a dollar, 50 cents every time you want to keep your desk clean. So I love, love, love those. So definitely stock up on those because they save you an entire mess. So if you have kids projects that you do and you use a lot of crayons, um, I do some projects where I'll get a canvas and I'll stick a bunch of crayons on the top and I'll glue gun them with my 99 cents glue gun and then I'll blow dry, I'll put the blow dryer heat on them and they start dripping down and they make a beautiful um, splashy colorful rainbow art piece. I use these. They're a dollar for 36 instead of like getting the Crayola ones which are like, I don't know, $200? Not $200, they're what, like 15 bucks for a big one? But here you go. This is a great deal as well, right over here. Here's another awesome, awesome find. So these are a dollar each. They're little letters, right? So you get these and you color them, you spray paint them, you paint them by hand, whichever you want to do. These are a dollar each. You guys at Michaels, these are at least so this size ones. They're at least five, six dollars a piece. These are tiny, like they're the size of my hand. So this is another amazing find that you can get here and not get at Michaels and get him, get them here for a dollar and save so much money. Okay, right, so something that I discovered newly are these amazing, amazing tin kind of food trays. So when I'm pouring, I have these really big Tupperwares that I bought from Target. But if you're doing small pours and then you don't have the room and you just want to throw away like a tub, these are amazing to use. So if you get one of these, right, and you just set it and you pour in there or oh, you pour over it, then you put this out outside in the sun, let it dry, the paint will dry up, throw it right in the trash, and you're all set and it's just one dollar. Instead of worrying about storage, spilling everywhere, these are amazing. I love, love, love the idea of this. Okay, so one of my favorite sections and one of the reasons I come to my bowls. So I always get these, you guys, the big rolls right over here. I sometimes get these too. The napkins are thinner. Um, then I think if you would buy them, let's say at Ralph's or something, for, for a dollar for 180 of them, I think you can use two instead of one at the same time. And it's just as good and what a find instead of spending so much more money. So we're going to keep going right over here and we're going to come to the cups. Look at all these cups. So I usually don't like the colorful ones just because when you pour in them or you mix your paint, you don't really see exactly how much you're doing. So I love these ones right over here. So these are my favorites. They're not super clear, but they're clear enough for you to see when they're out. Like you see this example. Um, ooh, hold on. So. 18 for a dollar you guys you cannot beat that i love these cups and when i come here i literally will buy like five or six of these packs and i don't have to come in for a long time so love these okay so now for plates you guys let's see so they have all sorts of different ones they have ones that have 18 and you can see that this has like kind of like a little bit of a divider in it i don't like the ones with the divider so i go I think these are usually the ones I get. They're 22 uh, pieces for $1 and you literally can't go wrong. So anytime you want a, a paint palette, use one of these, you're done. Throw it out, easy breezy, don't worry about anything. I don't like the ones that are bowls because you just kind of lose space. So again, these ones, they have different ones. So whichever brand you like, like they have different ones, like this is an 18 one. 
is this? This is 22. I think this is mostly the one that they have. They have smaller ones too, so if you want a smaller one, that's fine. But whatever you find works for you. One dollar It's a one dollar for 22 pallets. I mean, you can't get better than that. All right, guys. So my phone is dying because I keep recording everything I'm doing today to show you guys. So I have a little confession to make. So I just got out of the 99 cent store, and every time I go no doubt every single time I buy these sour gummy bears and I don't buy one pack I don't buy two I buy like ten and I stock up and anytime at home I'm stressed out or I'm painting or I'm editing or whatever I'm doing you've seen my other videos I eat these while I'm filming too I'm addicted to them I love them so much so I just kind of wanted to show you a little guilty pleasure of the 99 cent store I love these they're so yummy so if you haven't tried them you really should you guys also on a side now I just I was reading in the back and they have like kind of what color is what so the red one is raspberry the white one is pineapple the orange one is obviously orange um, the yellow is lemon I love these green ones I think I buy these because of the green ones because I love them so much I thought they were apple flavor it's strawberry look at that you see right there I don't know if that's focusing strawberry green is strawberry I don't know if that tastes like strawberry to me or not, but I've never seen anything that's a green color that's supposed to be strawberry. I don't understand. What is this world coming to? Green strawberry? No. It's apple. It's apple. Get it straight, Mr. Gummy Bear Company. Okay, guys. So I just finished up at the 99 cent store, and now I'm going to take you guys to Dollar Tree. So I buy different supplies at the Dollar Tree than I do at the 99 cent store. At the 99 cent store, I love the plates, the cups, and all that. But at the Dollar Tree, I find mixing sticks, and I have like little storage containers that I'm going to show you guys from the craft section. Um, what else do I get there? Yeah, like when I go to the Dollar Tree, I don't know, for some reason, I don't find the same cups that I do at the 99 cent store and the plates. Some of the plates they have, but the cups they have, they always have the red cups. And I like using the cups that are more see through just because. When I film tutorials, you can see through them, and also you can see through them. So you see how much you're putting actually in the cup from the side. So let's go to the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to show you guys what I buy from there. And more gummy bears. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it would help if my car was on drive or reverse. All right, everybody. Here we are. We're at the Dollar Tree. Let's go find some supplies. Okay, here we are. This store is a lot more quiet, so I'm gonna be quiet. Also, it's Thanksgiving and Halloween here too in August, which is wonderful. All right, here we go. So there's a lot of fun stuff you could get here. I love the Dollar Tree. It's really awesome. Look at these cool candles. All right, guys, and look at this. Look at these craft sticks. 60 of them or 100 of them. They have the jumbo size and the regular size, and they're just, just a dollar. These were $3.99 and $4.99 at Michael's when we went, and I showed you another video. So this is such a better find than the ones at Michael's. And look at these containers. When you mix too much paint, and you know, we don't like wasting paint because it's so expensive, right? Look at these cute little containers. They're small. You could just put them in there and you know what they seem small but they hold a lot of paint i use these all the time so all your extra paint just put it in there and use it at a different time use it during a different project the next time you paint and look here too glue sticks 20 of them for a dollar instead of the 4.99 or 3.99 that they are at michael so guys great great shopping at the craft section okay so you can find so much stuff these are just the items that i usually use but look at all these fun stuff that they have all for a dollar glue they have paint all sorts of things all right guys so here at Dollar Tree see same thing they have all these tin um, little containers or these tubs that usually we put warm food in and you can totally pour in these I love them it's such a good way to pour not make a mess and then just throw them away so you can buy these at the Dollar Tree as well guys these are the containers I really wanted to show you guys so these are bigger than the other ones and they come 10 of them in one pack such a better deal and oh my goodness let me show you guys look at that they're 
bigger containers are amazing so I love these put your extra paint in here and it will literally I put paint in here and I've had it maybe five six months later I open them and they're perfect so it's such a great way to store your paint your extra paint that you mix so here are the cups that usually are here at the Dollar Tree. I get these sometimes, they're, they're see-through, but they're blue. So you guys don't see it as well as I do. And also they have these red cups, which they totally work. It just, you can't see through them, so I feel like it's not as easy. So for the cups, I definitely like going to the 99 cent store so that I could get the clear cups. All right, you guys, so that's it for today for this video. I showed you guys my shopping at the 99 cent store and my shopping at the Dollar Tree. You could save so much money on art supplies, on containers, on little sticks, on everything. So much you can find at the dollar store, so much more than what I just showed you. So don't be afraid. Go around the store, see what you could use. Um, don't spend too much money. You could buy these same containers at like, let's say Michael's, but it's so much more expensive. The glue sticks, instead of $4.99, they're a dollar. The glue guns, instead of seven, eight dollars, they're a dollar. So be smart, shop smart, don't spend too much money when you don't have to because honestly, they all work the same, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And please don't forget, if you enjoyed, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon. Toodles.